Think about the roles that the people have in these clips. Look at the way Marie is eating and how she acts. She's very pleased when she sees her friend, sister. They basically, through the course of the film, take men who spend a lot of money on them for a ride. Watch as Marie One eats as much as she can. She acts like a child. Look at the way she responds to the cake. The grown man doesn't want any. Marie, too, looks but isn't as intent as Marie one. She greedily devours the cake, flicking food into the man's face. She eats messily, like a child. Is it possible to see Marie one as a representation of the id here? What do you think Chuklova is saying about the id? Along, allowing it to enjoy itself, stuffing its face, the sense of gluttony. Bear in mind again the context of this film. Two years before the Prague Spring, it's likely that there wasn't that much food around, and maybe probably quite staid, and many were probably quite staid and serious. Chiklova is using the elements of surrealism to poke fun at this attitude by having the girls act flightily, but ultimately taking each of the men for a ride. Notice the jump cuts and the change in filter as the ploy continues. The glasses pile up and Marie One keeps eating, taking what she can. They are being very bad. Moment, já přece ještě jím. Vy ale kazíte. Vnímáte něco s filtrem? Tak vidíte. Takové svinstvo. <laughs> Ty šíce jsou tak těžké. <laughs> Kolik vám to je dál? Asi za 40 minut jede přece ten vlák. Za 40 minut to teda máme co dělat. Pane vrchní platit. Tak si jdem to stihne. Hlavně, že neuje. He is trying to get rid of her. He wants one thing for Marie too. Again, the gluttony. Ona to na mě řekne. A 
Děkuji vám, slečno a naschledanou. Bohem, ahoj. Děkuji. She gets away from the old man through a twist of dreamlike logic and proclaims that he didn't want to leave on his own. These shots are all made with whimsy and gentle humour. With the logic of a dream, we again find ourselves in another location, completely as we pull out of the tunnel. 